Good morning and welcome to Teaching Tuesdays. I am Michael Moore and this is More for Life. So we're going to talk about highlighters. Yesterday I was doing a photo shoot for our new website that we're putting together right now. And I had a young um, aspiring makeup artist in here with me. She's 19 and you'll actually see her on the website very soon. Beautiful young girl, but it really opened my eyes because as she was watching me do makeup and as I was doing makeup on her and doing it on, I had uh, models of very, very different ages uh, working with them and I was using highlighters on every single person. So, in the industry right now, when you look at highlighters, often I see people with highlighters that look like mirrors that are setting right on the surface of your skin. The other day I was in a big box store. Um, I don't even remember which one it was. It might have been a Home Depot. It might have been a Walmart. It might have been a Target or something like that. And I was walking down the aisle and I was looking at this lady and she was a beautiful woman you could tell from a distance. But the interesting thing is the lighting that's in that store and the highlighter that she had on her face and the skin tone that she had on her body were three totally different things. So I'm not saying you need to switch your highlighter depending on what department store you're going into that day. But I think what, you, what was wrong with this is she was, I think, of Latin descent. I'm not totally sure, but she had a lot of yellow and gold in her skin. And she was using something that actually had more of a silver hue to it. So then in this store, which has more of a, uh, a fluorescent light, she was actually glowing blue. She literally looked like a blue alien or something from Avatar walking down the aisles. And so what I want to do is today is I want to talk about, first of all, what is the color tone that you are and what is the color tone for a highlighter for you to uh, pick for your skin tone? What is the proper one for you? Is it going to be a powder? Is it going to be a liquid? Is it going to be a cream? What is it going to be? And then um, thirdly, where do you put it for you and your lifestyle at this point in time? Okay, so four of our top selling um, highlighters that we have are our things called dew drops right here. Some of you, a lot of you have these right now. We have them in four different colors. We have our, our quartz, which is actually a really soft pinky silver, which is beautiful. And it would be for somebody like with my skin tone, okay? Then you've got something like uh, Moonstone, which is more of a very soft, golden, milky kind of tone, which is actually for more people who have um, maybe a touch of pink in their skin or a little bit of gold in their skin, more of a true neutral base for you, okay? And then thirdly, we have citrine, which is more of a gold. This is going to be for somebody who is a little bit more yellow, a little bit more gold, who wants to bring out a little bit more of that yellow in their skin. And then another one of my absolute favorites is rose gold, which is hard to see because it's almost empty here. But this is truly like a brown, a pink, and a bronze all put together. Even for some people who are light like myself or like Kayla, who's going to be my model in one second, this can actually be beautiful for just even like a really soft um, blush on the surface of your skin okay so those are four color tones and who is going it's going to be for so you remember that quartz is actually for more of a really light skin with a little pink citrine the yellow is for more golden and bronzy okay then you've got your moonstone which is for more of the average person that's right in the middle of pink and gold and just kind of neutral okay and then you've got rose gold, which would actually be for somebody who might be a very light skinned African American person, who might be a, a darker skinned Latino person, something like that. And you want a Latina, I'm so sorry, a Latina person. So you want to think about those kind of skin tones when you're putting it on the face so it doesn't counteract when you are in natural or unnatural light, okay? Then two of our other top sellers that we actually have here at More for Life is we have Princess Powder, which is actually a soft shimmering pink that was named after one of my employees one time because she was such a princess. So you can actually see here, it's just a really soft little pink. And this is great because it is a powder and you can actually just take this and you can use this all over the face in very various, various ways. I always like to call this the airbrusher, okay? And then we actually have one as well called in Naked Powder which is more of the bronzy. And I actually used this on a model yesterday who happens to be African-American. And it was beautiful and it really gave just a beautiful uplift of highlight and um, occasion to the face. So where do you use these? Um, what you can do is you can actually use something like this, which is our uh, 
foundation brush called Get Even. And you can actually use this with a liquid and I like to use it right through the ocular cavity right through here. And the reason I like to do that, now if you're a person who holds a lot of color down here underneath your eyes, okay? Your dark circles, you've got fine lines and wrinkles, all that kind of stuff. This is great to put something like the, the um, highlighter underneath your concealer, then put your concealer on top. Because whenever you've got reflection on something, you don't notice an imperfection. So as I always, as I used an analogy yesterday, for somebody who's got some bulges on their body and they're a little self-conscious about that when they're going to something, wear sequin because the sequin will reflect light off and you can't see any bulges. Or another analogy that I often use is at nighttime, if the road is a little bit more moist and it's reflecting light, you can't see a pothole. So the same thing is if you're putting, if you're feeling like the lines and wrinkles around the eye area is looking a little too heavy for you, use a little shimmer, put a concealer on top of it, and voila, you've got a brighter effect to the surface of the eye, okay, or the surface of the skin. And then in the juxtaposition of that, even for somebody like me, you could actually use more of a fluffy brush like this, like our Clean Sweet brush, and you take this, boom, 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 and what I always call it is the airbrusher. You're taking this and just putting this right into the ocular cavity of the eye, and instantly my clients go, holy moly you see a total difference because you see a softening effect or as i call it the airbrushing effect okay and then last but not least if my assistant kayla can hand me the spotlight spotlight is an amazing product that we have that we actually use um, as an eyeshadow base this is great right here. This can be used as an eyeshadow base, as an eyeshadow all over, but even for some of my clients, they will actually just take it and they'll just put it right through here into these areas of the face just to give a creaminess of highlighter to the face as well. But yet it is a little bit more dense, kind of like a lipstick base. So you gotta remember you don't wanna use too much of it because it will, could fall into fine lines and wrinkles and all that kind of stuff as well. But it is a great little double duty product that you can actually use on your eyelid from the eyelash to the eyebrow. And you can actually just use it just to soften anything around the face, just to give life back to the face, okay? So we're gonna bring Kayla in right now. Come on in, Miss Kayla. You guys remember Kayla, don't you? She's got her kind of summary uh, last little bit on. We decided to go kind of matchy-matchy here. It was not planned, okay? So anyway, so when you're thinking about something like Kayla, we're gonna actually, because she is very, very light as well, kind of like me, even probably much lighter than me, actually. So when you're using something like dew drops here, and now Kayla's only 30 years old, so she could do so many different things. Now I'm gonna tell you there is one flaw in this product, okay? And it's not a bad flaw to have, but what you can do is is don't pump it out. No, uh, don't put use a hole pump because that's going to be enough to make you look like Mr. Roboto or Mr. Tin Man, okay, from The Wizard of Oz. Everything goes back to The Wizard of Oz for me, okay? That movie was scary as a kid, wasn't it? Scary. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to just use a little bit of this, okay? Just a very, very small amount. And so how do you do this when you're at your own house? Take this and just pump just a little bit on this or even just boom, boom, boom. You can get a little bit more that way as well, okay? So what you're going to do with Kayla, because Kayla's skin is actually really nice. It's supple. It's hydrated. But sometimes she gets a little dry on the surface, right? Exactly. So... Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take the dew drops in quartz. And the thing is with Kayla, as I always say, is people as we age, we're going to be sinkers or we're going to be saggers, okay? Some people will sink in and their eye gets deeper or they get heavier and they are a sagger. Now, my gut is, and not that Kayla's old or anything like that, she's not, but what you're going to do, she's probably going to be a sinker. She'll actually go deeper into the head. So what you want to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put this right on that ocular bone right there. And it's kind of hard to see right now, I apologize. But what you're going to do is you're going to take that and we're going to put that right on the ocular bone and we're taking and we're going to fill that eye cavity and just hitting that bone so you get more of a highlight to the eye, to the skin, and more life to the face. Now, there is this big trend also 
to put highlighter in another area, which I'm going to talk about in one second. And I absolutely hate it because when I see it, it always looks like the person has been sweating. And I don't think that's a good look when you're going down the aisle at your wedding that you look like you've been sweating before getting married or when you're going into a gala for Christmas time or a big holiday party. So you just look at that right there with Ke Kayla. You can actually even just see the brightness underneath her eye right now and at 30 years old just how that can make a more of an impact on the face now if kayla we're going to imagine that she she has more nasal labial folds here which she doesn't okay but if somebody's a little bit more heavy in that nasal labial fold area like i am you can actually take something like the princess powder and use it right through that area and you're going to soften those fine lines and wrinkles. I know we talk a lot about highlighter and everything on the skin in our Teaching Tuesdays, but the thing is, is I really wanna make sure that you're using these wonderfully trendy products that have been around for thousands of years. As I always talk about this, I was at a trade show in San Jose, I think two weeks ago or something like that. I can never remember time anymore. Anyway, um, I think it was two weeks ago I was there and people were always asking me, it's like, oh, highlighter is the hottest thing. I'm like, you know what? Nothing is, nothing is changed. Everything is just renamed over the years. So that's what you want to think about, okay? So using something like this will just be, give a beautiful softening effect to fine lines and wrinkles. If you had lines out through here, a little bit of powder could do that for you too, because sometimes liquids can fall into those fine lines and wrinkles. And this is a simple, easy way that you can get an uplifted, highlighted look, but just the key to it is really Really making sure that you know you know what the proper color tone is for you if you have any questions and you can easily just email me a picture of you and I'll tell you which highlighter works for you if you're not in the Denver local area but once again it is Michael Moore at more for life 303 484 1857 or michael at moreforlife.com okay and we are ending our uh, special for our back to school special which is how much Kayla $90. It's $90, usually $150, and it ends on the end of August. So get your child in here for their back to school special in a simple way that they can go into school this year feeling confident and uplifted, okay? Have a great day. See you next week. Bye.